Welcome in to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. I'm a level one CMT and full time trader. And yes, I did get sunburned. <laughs> All right. So uh, over the weekend, Bitcoin climbing up, uh, just like my skin temperature. Uh, so Bitcoin at 72.5 and rising. We're looking at the monthly chart here. And I got some impressive things to look at if you're easily impressed. Uh, I've been noticing some people on X and various social media sites saying that Bitcoin's getting too heated now and it must cool off. No, uh, wrong. And we're going to look at some data that backs that up, right? Bitcoin on the monthly Gaussian channel, right? Our 2019 summer bubble, you might not have been around from here, but we'll, we'll get back to this one. We just don't need to go back this far. You can see how high above the channel we are here. So just looking at our current you know, state of the union for Bitcoin, we are currently a mild 95% above the monthly Gaussian channel. You're catching a drift to what we're going to look at here. Okay, how high did we get extended in the ultimate April 2021 top from Pico top wick over 600%, knocking on the door 650% above the Gaussian channel. That's pretty extended. Okay, uh, not not now, right? How about how about here? A little bit less because the Gaussian channel starts rising. Still over 400% on the top. But what about this little moat? Maybe we're closer with this. Maybe we're going to cool off for a while. Uh, guess what? This is still over 250% above the Gaussian channel on the monthly. We are not even to 100% yet. Markets can remain irrational to the upside longer than you can keep your sanity. Okay. Uh, if you're curious... <laughs> how far this one was it's it's a doozy right how how wild did that get over a five thousand percent above the gaussian channel on the monthly so to put it in context of where we are versus where we were and how not overextended we are per the gaussian channel there you go right okay so now let's look back to let's get back to reality here Let's put our EMAs back on. We'll go to the weekly. We'll look at the close. We'll do an update. Uh, wanted to start off there, though. Uh, look at the Gaussian channel on the weekly, right? We've ju really just been turned green. I mean, look how long we stayed green last time. We were, let's let's just take a look real quick, right? From the length of we turned green to back to red it was over a thousand days, 1,036. How far are we in it now, right? Not that we have to rhyme or repeat or anything, but I mean, we're 200, there's over 200 days, right? Barely. A thousand days, not that we will do that again, but I mean, a thousand days still, I mean, that would take us into 2026. Now, the fact that we are going up so quickly, I would anticipate the left translated cycle, um, which would mean we peak earlier than last cycle. Um, but still, just showing you how non-overextended we are. I mean, look at that. Look at that move. Look how far away from the channel we got. We're still not even close. Okay, now let's take the Gaussian channel off. Clean it up a little bit. Right, there we go. So highest weekly close ever out of Bitcoin, you may have heard. Uh, just happened yesterday, right? Our highest weekly close all time. Finally did it, 69K. And even though that was barely over the high price, right? Or really our highest weekly close before that was 65.5. So pretty impressive. Great close with conviction wiping out our all-time highs. Uh, all moving averages now, including the 200 week, way down here in the pink, is now rapidly rising. That's a good sign. Last time we really did that, we're looking like, see this like sharp turn right there? Yeah, that's the, the rapid rise that we're talking about. So we maybe we're in this area, right? Maybe we, maybe we go some volatility over the next couple of weeks. Then maybe we continue for, you know, the next part of a year, right? Who knows? But the signs are bullish, and there's no signs of slowing down, at least for yet. You'd have to watch. The only reason we watch candlesticks is to try to improve our odds of potential tops. We have no signs of that yet. There was one here, but that, that was our potential local top, but very briefly, right? And then nuke it up higher. That's where we are now. And look, looking back in history, I mean, that looks like a pretty scary candle. That's like a pretty scary candle. Right, those are the warnings we're looking for. We don't have them yet. This can continue higher longer than you can stay calm. <laughs> um, all the people that sold all back here are, you know, smacking their face against the wall, wondering, 
when they can buy back in. Keep waiting for a pullback. Go ahead. Uh, daily chart, I mean, still bullish. Are you catching a trend here, right? It's just a acceleration after acceleration. And the fact that we are taking little subtle breaks here is a good sign, right? We're doing this, then coming up, then doing that, right? Taking a breath, go up, take a breath, a little too far up, too quick, bigger breath. Okay, now we can, can move up again. So who's to say that our breath is not just like a retest of 70 or even 65 or something like that, and then keep ripping. As long as you keep taking breaths, you can, you can take it to Nuketown all you want. Right, and we're now in price discovery. You don't want to doubt the best performing asset of all time in price discovery mode. That I do know. Okay, so slap your friend if he says the local top is near. Shut up. Um, all right, <laughs> even though you might be right, there's no evidence of that just yet. That's what we're watching for. You have to watch candles and study candles, right? And that candle not bearish. All right, so that's as plain, simple, as cut and dry as you can find. Uh, let's get to our quote and card of the day. Let's check on the quote. No man was ever wise by chance. About as simple as profound as you can get. Car of the day. Check this out. We have a Jeep, but it is... Look at this if I zoom in here. The Dodge Demon. Right? So the Jeep, but the, the Demon engine. But I've got something even more impressive than that. Uh, this is also a quarter million dollars. All right, so let's fast forward, do some shots. I saw this last weekend at a car show. Looking uh, as we progress in, look at this suspension work on here. It is, you can, you can adjust the suspension. Look at that knob on the fly. Amazing. This is most impressive uh, SUV, Jeep, whatever the hell you want to call it. Glad, I mean, I don't even know what they are. Uh, someone out there screaming at me right now, like, how do you not know? But look at the engine. They have the demon stamped in the engine. It's pretty sick. Uh, not my whole cup of tea, but I know a lot of people love this. But this, uh, I, I could get used to. Uh, the AMW 1000. But you're like, what could be better than my dog barking? Uh, I'm glad you asked. It's a whatever this is. But look at this logo. If you've never seen it before, you might your jaw might be on the floor. This is the elephant badge. Uh, what? The elephant. This one was, I think, approaching three hundred thousand dollars for this car. Three hundred grand. It's not even bulletproof. It doesn't float. It doesn't fly. Uh, it doesn't go upside down. It's just a regular car, but with an irregular badge. The elephant badge. Uh, One thousand horsepower. Uh, Amazing looking. This, I don't. I guess it should be for 300k, right? But I've never seen one in person until now. And there's three of them. There's another one over there. I think I might have a picture of that one. Let's keep going. Yellow fella. There he goes. The 840. So they had like what the 800, the 1000, and the 840. I like this color better. I want this with the elephant. <laughs> there's the demon again. Uh, amazing. All right. Leave me a comment if you know what the hell these are. <laughs> I had no idea about them, but. They're certainly getting a bunch of attention at the show. Certainly that elephant one. All right. Bitcoin wrapped up. Hopefully you found that somewhat helpful, mildly entertaining.